Hey everyone, my name is Francesca and I love luxury fashion. Today we got an unboxing of a Louis Vuitton bag. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right guys, today we're gonna to be reviewing this Louis Vuitton bag called the Soufflot BB. I honestly have no clue if that's the real name of the bag, but that's how I pronounced it. I'll list the real name right here. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. I have had this bag for at least one year because I've yeah, one year because I bought it for my birthday last year. And so, yeah, I have a good idea of the bag and all that kind of stuff. I did purchase this bag from the Tyson's Galleria, um, the Louis Vuitton boutique in the Tyson's Galleria. Um, that's pretty much where I buy all of my luxury items. Um, so, yeah, it came in this box. I said this box, this bag in this box and yeah we're gonna unwrap it i still have all the wrapping and stuff because honestly i don't use this bag that much because um because i don't want to hurt the bag i guess so yeah anyway so it looks still pretty good um and yeah let's go ahead and unbox it all right so we're gonna go ahead and take this ribbon off open the box It comes in the usual Louis Vuitton dust bag. Looks like this, see that? All right, and this is the handbag. This is the um, Louis Vuitton Soufflot in the size BB. Um, I, it comes in a larger size called the MM, but this is the BB size. This is a bag charm from Amazon, not Louis Vuitton. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in bag charms, just go to Amazon and buy, type it in bag charms. Um, so yeah, this is the Soufflot BB. It does come with a crossbody strap here. And I'll give you a 360 of the handbag. This is what the bag usually comes with, this luggage tag here. So the interior of the bag is made of like this nice like velvet slash suede material and has a pocket here, a slot here, the zip pocket here, which is honestly where I put most of my stuff at, and then a slot here also. And it has feet and we always like a luxury handbag that has feet because if you're paying 2000 plus dollars for a bag, you don't want the bottom of it to get messed up. And so yeah, this is the handbag. Um, in the next clip, I'll show you guys some mod shots. All right guys, so uh, FYI, I'm about five foot four slash five foot five. I am at least 200 pounds. So I am heavy or a heavier person. I usually carry this body on um, this handbag top handle. Well, sort of. I prefer to carry my handbags top handle, but I actually only carry this handbag top handle when I have the bandeau wrapped around it. Um, so this is what it looks like top handle on me. Uh, it does have a crossbody strap, like I mentioned earlier. And this is how it looks crossbody on me. I think this bag fits very well crossbody on me. And again, this is the size BB. Um, the I actually do wear this bag crossbody more than top handle. And that is because of this untreated leather on these damn Louis Vuitton bags. Now, I think it's beautiful, but with oils like from my hair, my lotion, my makeup, it just, I get scared to wear this bag now, which is actually terrible because it's expensive. So now when I carry this bag, I almost always wear it crossbody and I don't really even like crossbody bags, um, but they are convenient, which is why I, um, I do like it as an option still, but I prefer to carry a top handle. Um, 
and no, not this particular bag, but I prefer to carry handbags top handle. This bag I carry crossbody because I don't want to mess up the handles of this untreated leather. Um, what is it? The Vaquetta, I think it's called. Um, over time, if you know Louis Vuitton bags, they, they, they get darker over the, you know, years and usage and all that kind of stuff. So I just get scared. The only time I use this top handle is when I wrap the bandeau around it. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about if, if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, I do think this bag is beautiful. Um, I don't wear it that much, so that's why it kind of looks still brand new. But it has had some wear and tear on it already, for example. I have no idea how this happened. But do you see this? That's just That just breaks my heart, you guys. I have no idea how that happened. Um, and this, some of the, you can even see some of the patina. It looks like it's patina more on this handle. And if I had to guess, it's because I've probably worn the bandeau on this one more <laughs> so that's probably why it's a little patina there but the bag is still in pretty good condition i need to take better care of the inside of my bags but as you can see it's a little bit of probably looks like makeup residue and lip pencil sharpenings in there um so yeah uh this is a very beautiful bag though it's actually probably my favorite louis vuitton bag that i own in my collection and I do love this bag. And again, it does come with this luggage tag here. Uh, there goes another like flaw, as you can see. So, so I was going to show you guys the bandeau, but I can't even find it, so I'm sorry. But basically, if you know the little their twillies or bandos, they're all called different and different luxury designers. You wrap those around the handles to protect the, you know, the fabric or whatever the bag is made out of. So. If I carry this top handle, that's pretty much the only way I'm wearing a top handle because I just don't want to mess it up because I love it so much. It's so expensive and I don't know. I just, that's terrible. I need to, I need to not do that because I know a lot of people will like wear the hell out of this bag if they could afford it. So, but I don't know. I'd just be scared. So, and if I ever want to resell it, I'm a, I'm a ruin the resale value um, by getting it all oily and whatnot. So anyway. I'm going to show you guys what fits in the bag in the next clip. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you guys what fits in this bag. I am not the person to overstuff my bag, so yeah. But anyway, so there's two sections um, here and here. There's a pocket here, and this does close by magnet, which is nice. Or I said the whole thing. I'm <laughs> like, see, this is magnetic. See this? See that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then there's a zipper here. I put most of my stuff in this section because I just don't like how this is all wide open and not secure. I mean, this magnet, yeah, but if it, I don't know, I just don't feel right with that. So I you put everything in this thing. So I can fit my, uh, I think this is a zippy. I don't know, my Louis Vuitton wallet in here. Um, I got a makeup brush. Face powder hand sanitizer, allergy season eye drops, <laughs> allergy season inhaler, my lip pencil, um, lip gloss and sharpener. I got face mask, lotion, keys, car keys, more lip pencils, ear pods, and of course my phone, but I always record with my phone. So, and if you can see, there's still a ton of space in this bag, which is definitely a pro about the bag. Um, it fits a lot, you guys. Like, honestly, this is a perfect everyday bag for someone who doesn't like to carry a lot of stuff, but does not, I mean, someone that does like to carry a lot of stuff, but does not like big bags. Like, a, who doesn't want to carry a tote bag around all day? This thing can fit a lot. I ain't gonna lie, this thing can fit a lot of stuff. Like, I carry a lot, and this thing, it still has space in it. So, that is definitely a pro of this bag. Now, a con, I would say, is the price. I mean, to be honest, it is a con, but when you're looking at Chanel or Hermes, it's not a con. This bag is, I paid about $2,400 for the bag, but the price now, I believe, is like $2,600. I would have to look it up because Louis Vuitton has had 
extreme price increases. But I think this bag is about $2,600 now. Um, so yeah, I guess that's a con, but for luxury, it's actually not a con, but I do still see it as a con because paying this much for a bag is actually crazy, but I am a part of the crazy committee. So yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, pros, the size, the, the fact that it comes with a crossbody is a pro for me. The pro also, it comes with feet. That's definitely a pro. And also the fact that this bag is made out of coated canvas to me is a pro because that means it's very durable. The only part that is a con is the Vachetta leather, um, which is really not a con because it's beautiful, but it's just a con because it is so easy to ruin. So, and that's it. It's a con. Um, so yeah, that's really the only con I think I have is like maybe the price and the Vachetta or and the fact that this type of leather patinas um and yeah that's really it though i really think this is a very good investment i think it's a good luxury bag for someone who has never bought a luxury bag because it's not five thousand dollars but it's still very made it's still made very well um and it's a little bit different from having like a speedy or a never full like you know everyone has that so like get something different only thing about this bag it is almost never in the store so unless you have like a, a sales associate or something it's kind of hard to come by this um and it's never online like i don't even look online no more they don't have nothing online no more unless like it is expensive <laughs> but anyway um so yeah um that is probably what though well, that's probably that is what i put in the bag and yeah All right, that's the end of today's unboxing and review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like luxury fashion, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like this video and like some more videos. And I hope and you all have yeah. a blessed day. And thank you so very much for watching.